Have you ever wondered how some people have access to early iPhone and iPad features before it's released to the general public? Well, if you're willing to deal with some bugs and, let's be honest, probably some horrible battery life, you can do the same thing in just a couple of minutes. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Apple's public beta program. So right now, Apple's beta program is previewing iOS 14 and iPadOS 14. There's some big features coming in this release for both devices, but these instructions should continue to work in the future as long as Apple doesn't make any drastic changes, which they haven't for quite a few years. In order to sign up for Apple's public beta program, what you need to do first, and I say this because it's very important, is you need to back up your iPhone right now before installing the update. And I don't mean an iCloud backup because if you back up via iCloud, install the update, and then let your phone automatically back up again, you can't restore to an older iCloud backup, at least not right now in the way things are on the iPhone. So you need to create basically a snapshot of how your device is set up using your lightning cable and either the Finder app on a Mac or iTunes on a, a Windows PC in order to create an encrypted backup. And that's the important part here. When you go into the window uh, of Finder or iTunes and you're under the general tab, there'll be a little checkbox that says encrypt local backup. Check that box, enter a password that's easy to remember, and then let it back up your device. If you forget that password, you won't be able to restore your device should things go wrong while you're testing the beta. I suggest putting that password in one password or some sort of password manager for the love of all things security. Please don't write it on a sticky note and then stick it to your monitor. That's not safe either. So after you've created a backup of your iPhone or your iPad, what you need to do is open Safari on your device and type in apple.com slash beta, B-E-T-A. This will take you to Apple's public beta website where you'll need to log in with your Apple ID. You'll need to select the operating system you want to install and then follow the instructions. And the process is actually really easy and Apple itself will warn you and even provide instructions on how to back up your device properly using a Mac or a PC. Once you've backed up your device, logged into the account, you'll need to enroll your device by installing a provisioning profile. And what that does is basically it tells your iPhone to connect to the beta software update servers and it allows your device then to install that update. So the process for that is downloading it through the beta website on your device. That's why you go to Safari on your phone itself. You'll tap on a button to download the profile and then you'll be told to go to the settings app to approve the installation of that beta profile. So open the settings app and near the top, there'll be a message detailing that a profile is waiting your approval, tap on it, click install, and then you'll be asked if you wanna restart your device. Go ahead and do that, and a few seconds later when your device boots up, go back to the settings app, tap on general, software update, and let your device check for a software update, which it should then find the latest version of the beta software. So let the software update do its thing, install, download it and install the update, it'll reboot again once it's done, and when your device boots back up, you'll be running the latest version, beta version of iOS, or if you did this on your iPad, iPadOS. Now keep in mind, there are going to be bugs and issues. That's why it's a beta. It is unfinished. Apple is still working on things. Developers are still trying to implement and update their apps to work with the new features. So an app may not work, or you may have horrible battery life, or you, you, know, you may have other issues. When you install a beta release, there's a feedback app that's added to your device automatically. What Apple wants you to do, or any beta participant to do with that feedback app is provide detailed uh, instructions on how, re how to reproduce bugs or if there are any issues going on with a, a specific build or let's say you can't you know, send a text message or, or whatever's going on. Fill out the form, wait for Apple to get back to you. In, in a way, you're doing your part to help Apple improve iOS and future releases. But if you're having issues, that's the best place to start. And if you decide you wanna go back to a stable official release of iOS, what you'll need to do is restore using that backup you created on your Mac or your PC before all of this began.
That was a quick look at how to sign up for the Apple Public Beta Program on your iOS device, which will get you access to new features. Currently, my favorite feature in iOS 15.4 is the new Face ID capability to work while you're wearing a mask when you're out in public without needing an Apple Watch nearby. In fact, you can even register your face with and without your glasses now to help train Face ID to work even better. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Make sure to check out more great tips just like this one at ZDNet.com.